What's up guys, welcome back to another one of my videos and today we're continuing our Leicester City career mode. We're nearing the end of December, which also means we're right at the very start of January. So after this episode, we'll be getting into the January transfer window. Obviously I've got a game against Manchester City here away from home today and a game against Newcastle also. Then we get into January where I'm hoping to make at least two signings I've got in mind. But if anyone has any recommendations on signings uh, before I go in for them two players, uh, which obviously I'll show you next episode, which should be later today, hopefully. Um, as you can see there, neck and neck... Oh, by the way, drop them down in the comments if you do have any of them suggestions. But you'll have to be quick because I'll probably be filming the episodes later on today or tonight or tomorrow, maybe. So you'll have to be quick. As you can see, the table there, three teams, including us on 42 points. Manchester City there on 41. Liverpool and Spurs looking tough. We do play fourth place Manchester City today in this episode, kicking it off. We're away from home as well, so it's not going to be an easy game. And if we lose, we drop... We don't pick up any points. Man City obviously go to 44 ahead of us. I'm not going to manage New Zealand. I'm sorry, you Kiwis out there. But uh, obviously I'm a big cricket fan and I do like New, New Zealand. They're my, obviously, they're my second favourite team behind England in the cricketing international stage. But not going to manage them. They haven't got the greatest football team in truth. Sorry for you guys out there. If you are from listening in from New Zealand... I will just share with you this weird fact that I found when I'm on YouTube Studio the other day. I found out that more than half of my viewers are from outside of the UK, which I, which I thought was pretty f funny. Um, and also quite weird. Um, but yeah, half of my viewers are from outside of the UK, so I don't know where they're listening from. So thank you for tuning in, guys, from wherever you are and supporting this channel so obviously we're going to get into this Manchester City game. It's going to be a difficult one. Oh, the probable lineup is Ake at the back. Obviously, I'm a big fan of Ake. Played at Bournemouth last season. Harvey Barnes obviously gone up again, up to 82. He's leveled up. He's a uh, his rating's gone up at least three times in this career mode. Maybe even four. I don't know whether he started at 78 or 79. I think he started at 79. Um, they've also bought Marcelo there, as you can see, Man City. We're going to get into this game though. Um, so without further ado, I've actually forgot to set my timer, so I'm just going to go ahead and set that for eight minutes, because I don't think I've been talking for, like, six minutes just yet. Um, uh, my battery level's low, so I'm just going to go ahead and plug that in so it doesn't run out of charge halfway through the game. If that does happen, I'm going to be pretty annoyed. That was a decent strike for Vardy, even though I only tap, tapped the button there. So, Jamie Vardy, obviously the top scorer, 23 goals. I know my cousin's career on his Arsenal one, his top scorer is Aubameyang, who has got 19. So, he's four behind my Jamie Vardy here. But you've got to say Jamie Vardy has really been the only goal scorer I've had. I mean, Madison scored about 10, I believe. I believe I've scored about 40, 50 goals, maybe. But uh, we've got this game underway against Manchester City. It is a tough game at the Etihad as well. Uh, and the Etihad um, Stadium in fine voice. You see my manager down there on the touchline in our dark blue kit. Oh, what a ball over the top to Sterling. This is exactly how Manchester City play. They're just going to try and use their uh, quality. But then, again, when I have a Dharma who has way more, more pace than Marcelo down the wing, I do have chances to break like that. Uh, Ake there, heading the ball out well. Well done to him. Oh, it's a handball, sadly. He just bobbled up into Ndidi's hand there. Eight minutes played and the game is still nil-nil. Fernandinho out to walk back to Fernandinho there, though. So I don't actually know how many of that you are watching the... Uh, they've actually scored 44 goals in 19 games, which is quite a lot. The, the highest scoring team, I think. And Kudugwara has put them in front here. Concentrating just dropped. Concentration just dropped a little bit. And Aguero puts Manchester City into the lead. Probably what I expected, to be fair, coming up, coming up against uh, another of the top four teams. And it wasn't a hard finish, in truth, with, with his left foot there. And that, surprisingly, is only his eighth Premier League goal this season. 
so as I was saying, uh, I don't know how many of you are actually watching my videos. What the, one thing I have noticed though is it's not been very constant um, because some of you on one of my videos, I think I've got like 13 views. On on the other on another one though, I've only got like four views. So some of you are watching some of my videos, but not all of them. So um, if you want to go back and watch. Uh, if you are watch a series from the start, please go ahead and do that. It It'll get my watch time up, which will mean uh, YouTube recommends my videos more, therefore hopefully getting me more subscribers and views in uh, in the long run, which will, uh, will make me very happy. And it'll probably make me get more quality content out for you guys. Aguero once again, and this time it's Johnny Evans caught off the ball. Aguero, what a save, Schmeichel. He was one on one. How did he not took that one away? Oh, oh, De Bruyne plays a shot to Bernardo Silva. He's got to try and whip in a ball there. No, he's not. He's been shoved off the ball, but he's managed to squirm it out to Gundogan. It's a good tackle. Soyuncu there as well to plays it down to Harvey Barnes. Has he got the pace? I think Kyle Walker's got the pace on him there. Aki's caught out of position. He's given to Barnes. And he puts it wide. It was a poor finish. Maybe should have gone for a little bit more of a dinked finesse. It was a poor shot in the end from Harvey Barnes. Cutting in. He cut in uh, to the wrong side, really. And I can see why he went for the opposite corner. But it didn't particularly work there. I don't actually know what rating Aki is. I think he might be 82. Uh, Yao Martini has levelled there. Spurs have dro are dro currently dropping points. Uh, which is good for me. Uh, it's Spurs 1, Wolves 1 there. It's also good for Man City that Spurs are dropping points. Uh, obviously, uh, more good for Manchester City, seeing as though they're winning in this current place and time. Tottenham will probably want a draw between these two teams or a Manchester City win. They probably don't want me to win. Uh, Sterling there, slotted it into the, to the near post. And despite some smack Schmeichel heroics uh, in this career mode so far, he's kind of... What's Pep standing on the pitch there for? He should get sent to the stands for that. He was poor defending, really. Uh, who's the right back there? I think it must be Ricardo Pereira who loses the ball and Sterling slots it home. He scored more goals than Aguero this season. He scored 10, which shows something about Manchester City. They have scored the most goals in the Premier League, but it shows you that their goals have been more well-rounded. Like, they've had a lot of different goal scorers, unlike me, who's just had Jamie Vardy, pretty much. Vardy hits the woodwork with a great shot, in truth. Edison couldn't get anywhere near it in the end there. Unfortunately for us, it doesn't find the back of the net, and we find ourselves 2 0 down. De Bruyne gets tackled by Evans, and that's kind of why I brought Evans on, but got him on a new contract um, because he. Um, He's doing pretty decent, but they've got a free kick on the edge of the box here. My guy teleported through my guy. Barnes. And it's took behind for a corner. De Bruyne, Bernardo Silva out wide there now. He's delivered. No, he's not going to. Gundogan on the ball. It's tackled by Evans once again. Great tackle by Evans. And that is half time. Just as I look like I might go on the counter attack, the half time whistle does blow. And at the Etihad, the Manchester City fans will be happy. I'm assuming they will be happy anyway. They're leading 2 0. I'm hoping for a good comeback here. Liverpool dropping points currently at West Bromwich Albion. As you can see, there's Spurs only drawing against Wolves. So it's not looking good for the teams at the top apart from Manchester City at the moment. Although Manchester United are winning 1 0. And Chelsea are losing to Everton. So Manchester United looking to gain uh, on me. Obviously, if I drop points here and they win, or if I lose and Manchester United win, they've picked up three points without me replying. Therefore, I think they'll only be about four points behind me. I mean, it's still a big gap as we enter the second half of the season now. Um, 
You'd kind of be hoping. I don't, that was kind of a blind ball because I, I, I knew it was going to go out of play unless I like just delivered it back in really. So it's kind of just a blind ball there, Justin. Surely that's a foul. He's not a foul. Man City have Southampton away from home next. And for once, Manchester City aren't playing Arsenal. So happy about that one, I guess, because it looks like. Walker. Only in the first half of the season and that uh, the teams I play their next game is Odson Arsenal. Um, the uh, Odson Edouard, obviously from tackle. Celtic, there a decent the player. He must time. have taken Conaguero off. De Bruyne is through. Evans, I don't really want to launch it up the pitch blindly. That's the uh, my uh, time ago, guys. So I'm just gonna save it up. Right, so I just saved that timer up. I'm just going to reset it now. Uh, not eight minutes. I'll set it to twelve minutes this time. So we were on the ball, but now I've lost it because I paused it in such an awkward position. Infield two, Vardy. Vardy plays it through to Tielem, and surely this is going to result in a second goal, and not a second goal for us. Just a goal for Ross, but it hasn't. Edison did save it there. He's gone behind for a corner after Kyle Walker clears it out. Tielemann should have scored them. Uh, I should have brought it to maybe a touch forward more. Madison swings it in, and I can't quite get my head on it. Adama Traore can't either. Walker's there. Evans out wide. Gets tackled by Ferran Torres. It's disappointing. We're at home to Newcastle next game, which should look... We should be looking to get a win there, obviously, especially if we lose to Manchester City here. And Dennis Pryor obviously coming on for Madison now. I, I call him the match winner, although he has dropped off since he's came on. As a sub these last few games. Adama Traore. Go, gonna go down the right. If you can look at the mini map down at the bottom of the screen. You can see that he's all by himself. I've got to time this pass. But I haven't done it well at all. I tried playing a through ball. Clearly his passing is something I'm going to have to work on. Adama Traore. I don't think he's been the best signing. If I'm honest with you. If I'm honest with you. I don't think Adama has been the best signing. Uh, with that we could have got especially considering I'm going to be making a s another signing in that position well not in that position it's that kind of in a different position Eduard would say Schmeichel Unders coming on for Tielemans so um, he might drop out of my favour in the end there he might be dropped just to the substitute bench until he upgrades a bit but um, until he levels, I keep saying levels up. I, I'm just gonna have to call it levels up because it's so much easier for me. You know what I mean? His overall rating goes up. Ake, why is Ake up there? He slots it wide there. I don't even know why he uh, is up there. To be fair. Indeed, he's tackled. Why is Ake so far up the pitch constantly? Ferran Torres tackled, Eduard on the ball, not not tackled for Ferran Torres, my, def my guy was tackled, I think it's Ndidi. So vote vote in the comments section below who you think my player of the month should be. Um, I was slightly leaning towards Ndidi but he's had a bit of a bummer day today. Um, obviously we've still got a Newcastle game so we'll have to wait and see what happens in that one. Oh, it's going to be a sweaty. It is a sweaty. It's 3-0 now with five minutes to go. I was never going to get a result out of this game after they went 2-0 up, really. And now it's just made sure there's absolutely no way I can. Um, I'm going to try our hardest to keep our goal difference low. But in the end, that's his first goal of the season, Ilkay Gundogan. And why not bring Ian Acho on at this point in time? He's just lost the ball, which is disappointing there, giving it straight away to Manchester City. I have had pretty decent form against the top clubs. And I remember uh, like the second game of the season, I think I did beat Manchester City, if you can remember that far back. 
but today I haven't had the same look at the Etihad. It must, it must be a uh, home advantage, really. I did beat them 3-1, and now they're currently beating me 3-0. Although Eduard is on the ball here, he brings it forward and Schmeichel with another good save. And there's the final whistle. That's the full time whistle, I thought he was giving a pen then or something, or a free kick. But, there's a full time whistle, obviously as you can see Pep gonna be happy with that result. I am not particularly happy, especially considering we did concede three goals and that's a minus three goal difference. It also puts Manchester City's goal difference up by three as well. So, that was the first goal that we went behind to, was Sergio Aguero goal. They did dominate us in all departments, so I'm not really... It, it was one of them games where they did tuck away the t chances they should have done. Spurs did manage a draw with Wolves. I, don't, can't, I couldn't tell whether Liverpool won. I think it said they drew, which I'm happy with. Yep, Spurs and Liverpool drew, both drawing, so they didn't really... Um, gain points when we drop points that means Manchester City leapfrog us and Liverpool and Spurs from fourth up to first now so um and Manchester United gaining on us a little bit of five points behind us I think they did keep their win there we obviously 20 games into the season there's 18 games left Dennis looks like a good player wasn't he well, Dennis was actually a decent keeper, so I don't really want to let him go. I don't really want to promote him to the youth team, though. Development plan. I don't really know how that's really going to affect him, to be fair. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how, we, how we're going to actually be able to keep him. Because I don't really want to promote him to the first team. Because I might as well just promote this kid to the first team. Um, this kid's 15. Oh, I can't do that because he's 15 years old. Uh, I don't really want to uh, promote him. Because I think he's going to progress more when he's in the youth academy, to be fair. Uh, his kid's looking pretty decent, though. Potential of 81 to 87. Anyone else in... This kid's 59. He's not looking too shabby. He's nearly at 60. Uh, this kid's actually not too bad. Even though he's 18 years old, that's the problem. He's obviously had a couple of years to grow, and he's not grown the most. I can't really do much if he wants to leave the club. As you can see there, our manager rating is 71, which is a bit disappointing. And right, I'm not being funny. I debate. I'm debating whether to play my B team against Newcastle here because they're not all full. I'm gonna. Madison's gone up to 84, as you can see there. I'm gonna uh, play my first team, but I'm gonna make a few adjustments. For instance, uh, Science you can have a rest because his energy isn't full. I'll give. Who shall I give a chance to? Morgan. Does Morgan get a chance, do you think? Who else can play centre-back? Have I got any other centre-backs? Fofana, he, he will get a chance. Uh, Evans, I'll also take off for Morgan too. I would put them on the bench, but I'm not really going to do that. Justin, I'm going to be replaced by my foots there. And everyone else is on full energy, so that's looking pretty good. I did have a recommendation, actually. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to adjust his position up slightly. CAM there because then I did get a suggestion there from my cousin and he's pretty good at FIFA so he know he knows the tactics there uh, so he'll get a bonus there for playing in the right position as you can see so we're going to get into this game against Newcastle I made a few adjustments to the team especially my back line I've taken uh, obviously my two centre backs and my left back off okay so this is obviously a thursday so hopefully for you guys tomorrow i've got the day off school which is quite a bonus really so i'll probably post three episodes tomorrow gotta try and get through them i want to 
Because while I have to post them, I also want to keep this career mode going. And if I leave it too long, then I kind of get bored of career mode. So, some career modes. So, I have to try and keep them going as fast as I can. But at the same time, I don't want to overload you guys. Because otherwise, you just won't be able to keep up. So, I might just play post two. I, I don't know. I might post three, though. Because you guys can obviously catch up in the coming days after that. Um... So we've kicked off here, we're at home, Ricardo Pereira loses out there, Ryan Fraser down the wing, and he loses the ball, so it's good aggression from both, good, um, a, a good mentality coming to the, into this game from both sides, really, it's looking pretty, pretty open this game, actually, I feel like the result could go either way, they do lose the ball there again, Jamal Lewis, Gets it, Callum Wilson, obviously to Longstaff. We are fourth in the table. I'd love to hold on to that Champions League spot. But obviously, like I said, I I've got to stick to my promise and say that I'm going to go up to legendary uh, in the month of January. So I don't, if I can hold on to a Champions League spot in the month of January, I'll be very happy there. Madison does put us into the lead. A good finish. Clearly a good suggestion by my cousin there to bring him into CAM. So he gets a quick bonus there. And obviously with a quick goal early on here against Newcastle. If you can remember the first game of the season, we did play Newcastle and we won that game 3-2. There, as you can see, Madison on the ball and finishing with good aplomb there. I'm just going to save it. My time is literally about to go, so I will reset that. And off we go for another 12 minutes. That should be it for this game. But hopefully, I'll probably have to reset it again right at the end of the game. So, Madison, after 13 minutes, gives us the lead. Can we do the double over Newcastle this season by holding on to what would be a crucial three points to go in to finish... Um, December and finish 2020 what uh, what would be on our high for both of the for uh, Leicester City here and he's fired over the corner. oh that's poor Tielemans what's he doing like he just chested it out and Hendrick nearly scored a cracking volley there just looping over the bar in the end Ricardo to Wes Morgan, I can I can clearly see my defence is creaking uh, with a 73 rating and a 70 rated guy who's 36 years old. You can clearly see my defence is kind of creaking a little bit into the front post. Okay. But hopefully my attackers are going to do enough in this game to give us the win. And if I get a clean sheet, obviously I'll be very pleased. Oh, I was hoping that might, uh, after it took the deflection, might bubble to Jamie Vardy there. Didn't quite do that. Tielemans to Madison. To stop him. Out to Harvey Barnes. And he finishes too. He finishes with absolute aplomb. Harvey Barnes moves up to 82 rating. And now he's looking like an absolute talent for the rest of the uh, career mode that we're going to do this for. A decent strike there by Harvey Barnes. Into the corner. Dubrovka had no chance. And we do lead 2-0. That's his. That's only his fourth Premier League goal. As you can tell, Jamie Vardy has been banging in pretty much the only goals we've scored. Um, so hopefully we can hold on to this two-goal lead. We shouldn't bottle this. I'm really hoping we don't bottle this and we can get a win. Hi, right, right, I'm not being funny. They're a front three, Newcastle. I've all played at Bournemouth before. Apart from Dwight Gale, Matt Ritchie's played at Bournemouth before. Callum Wilson and Ryan Fraser have obviously played at Bournemouth before. Madison! Oh, he puts it over the bar. You could at least get it on target. But unlucky, we're going to keep trying and push for an even bigger margin. Obviously, that 3-0 defeat to Manchester City has really shaken us. And especially considering these three goals and getting us minus three goal difference along the way has obviously... Put on a bit of a bummer there. But Madison's through when he slotted it home. Was there any doubt when he was played through there? We do take the three-goal lead. This is one of the reasons I want to try and put it up to legendary. Because we are winning quite a few games. And we probably shouldn't be where we are, where we are in the table. Realism-wise. 
But we have had a very decent season up till here. And I hope you guys haven't got too bored of me winning all the time. I mean, I'm not winning all the time. I'm losing some games. Like, shocking games as well. So it does keep you on the edge of the seat when you do lose to the likes of Aston Villa and Sheffield United. We did also lose to Manchester City last episode out. Um, but Leicester City aren't... They should be considered... A challenger for top four, really. They have got a really decent... As you can tell here, even if they didn't have a Dharma Traore, you look at Leicester's squad and say it's probably just as good as, like, Arsenal's. Maybe nearly as good as Tottenham's. Probably not, actually, as good as either of them. But you could say... You could argue they should be definitely getting into the Europa League with the squad they have. Um, you should also probably say... They, they could challenge for the cha Champions League on every, in, in every season if they can keep these players. And we've played through once again. And Jamie Vardy before half time. We've made it 4 0. Newcastle have been absolutely atrocious. And we get into the four goal lead. So basically, we've cancelled out the 3 0 defeat to Manchester City. Obviously, you can't get the points back. But you can get the goal difference back. We're now on plus one. Uh, for, e even if you count last games. It, as well as this game. So we've now clawed back that goal difference. And we've actually gained the goal difference. And we're only halfway through this game. We're only into added time here. And there's a free kick for Newcastle here. 37 yards out. Shouldn't shoot, probably. And he won't do. Morgan out there with a crucial header away. And that is full, not full time. If it was full time, it would probably be more, more realistic, to be fair. Half time here, it's Leicester City 4, Newcastle United 0. They really haven't turned up to the races. The half time scores elsewhere. Obviously, you've got Liverpool, who are also dropping points there. Arsenal are losing at home to Manchester United. So, Manchester United obviously gaining on us. Uh, well, I say gaining. We were obviously getting three points as well so they're not really gaining especially considering we're getting the better goal difference as well as you can see madison with two Barnes with one and vardy also you can't really have a four nil thrashing without vardy on the score sheet especially considering he's now got 24 goals in the premier league and we've still got 45 minutes of torture for newcastle fans um madison ball to jamie vardy Tackle by Shah. Chelsea losing at home 2-0 to Newcastle. Not Newcastle. Wolves, sorry. Uh, Jimenez with the goal there. Luton. Ah, uh, Newcastle's opponent. Next time out. Uh, we've got Forest Green Rovers. I actually like Forest Green Rovers as a team. You know they're the greenest team in football. Hence the name, Forest Green Rovers, really. Um... Uh, if you've been watching my cousin's career on Amusing Jack War 2's channel, um, he has drawn his opponent in the FA Cup in their first round of the FA Cup there. And they've got Chelsea in the first round. So that's a difficult opponent, of course. Uh, it's literally their first game in the FA Cup Ars on his Arsenal career mode. And he's managed to get, <laughs> somehow, he's managed to get Chelsea first round. Maybe something wrong with FIFA there, but the odds. Oh, and that's a great tackle by Fofana there. I thought I might concede a couple of goals today with the... Uh, obviously, I've replaced my back three. Madison! Oh, it's a bit of a tame finish. It was a tame finesse finish in the end. Didn't quite have enough power behind it to beat Dubravka there. Good effort, but the Bravka saves it. And we haven't scored in the second half, which will be probably a positive for Newcastle, but they haven't really shown any signs, apart from that uh, chance that Forfana had to tackle them. They have not really created any signs of scoring in this second half. Taylormans to Madison. Bore on the ball. He's come on for Dwight Gale. Now the and Boss played a nice ball over the top. But Matt Ritchie is not fast enough. Nowhere near fast enough to keep that in. 
Barnes out to Fuchs there. James Madison. Here's Telemans. Ah, oh, a crunching tackle by Wilson. Moving it forward. He's a good. And a good under there. Uh, it's good there from Schmeichel to get it out and. Uh, it's cleared up the pitch. Ricardo Pereira on the ball. I th I knew my s I knew my uh, cousin was probably going to sign Ricardo Pereira, uh, but he's not going to do that now. Harvey Barnes, a good finesse, finish there, a good finesse shot, but he's not gone in there. Has Tielemans shot? Neither has Tielemans shot. Sorry. Fuchs out to Harvey Barnes. And there's Vardy on the score sheet once again as we make it 5-0. You can't really go and score four goals in the first half if you're not going to score in the second half. And finally, after after 35 minutes, 36 minutes of this second half, we finally scored. Pryat, obviously, like always, is coming on. He's only seven goals. Jamie Vardy is seven goals away from the competition record here. I don't actually know who that competition record was from. Probably from someone like um, Alan Shearer or someone like that. Obviously a great player or Ian Wright or someone like that. Um, five minutes to go in this one. Vardy to Madison. Back to Vardy. Can't quite get it through. Chelsea back in the game. They've scored a late goal. They still trail 2-1. But Emerson has found a way back into the game for Chelsea. They really have dropped form in this season. I, didn't actu I don't actually know how they've got so bad with the new signings that they've got in the team. Madison. A ball to Barnes. Across to Madison again. Back to Pryor, who is tackled then. And Ricardo Pereira does get the interception in there, but the full-time whistle blows. Newcastle's tortures come to the end, come to an end there. We do get the 5-0 victory, and that goal difference has just plummeted back up uh, after that 3-0 defeat to Manchester City. So, only nine shots on target. Debraca did make a couple of saves, but my finishing was just too much for them in the end Liverpool as you can see they're getting the 1-0 win I didn't have time to look at the Manchester United score as well uh, and the Chelsea score to see if they managed an equaliser but we'll probably see the table here as you can see next time out we're going to visual sim the game against Forest Green Rovers and then play two as well oh where's the as you can see we did get knocked out of the uh, Carabao Cup we did get knocked out too Liverpool in round four. Uh, Spurs beat Plymouth 5-0 there. So the semi-finals are Spurs versus Fulham and Liverpool versus Manchester City. Uh, that's in the Carabao Cup, so I'm not in that anymore. I'm just trying to get to the Premier League. I should have gone the other way. Um, Manchester United still five points behind us. Us both getting a win in the end. Let's see where Chelsea are. Tenth in the table. Really probably not going to get top four now. You wouldn't have thought. Too far behind. We'll see if they can get Europa League come the end of the season. Arsenal obviously there in eighth as well. Uh, they're probably not actually going to get Europa League football either. There's my timer going again, guys. So, so save that up. Uh, I'm not going to... Uh, I might as well set the timer again, I guess. But it's not really going to matter because I'm not playing any more games today for you guys so manchester city going into the final 17 games of the season manchester city do currently have the most points they're on 47 then liverpool and spurs are on 46 and i am on 45 with a goal difference of 21 uh, manchester united as you can see there five points behind me haven't got the greatest goal difference in truth Chelsea do have a positive goal difference. Uh, Leeds, as you can see at the bottom of the table there, one win after 21 games. It's very disappointing from their perspective there. Um, so, battle for relegation. I'd say any of the top 
any of the bottom four can probably go down. I'd say West Brom. Uh, I mean, six points is quite difficult to gain. Um, even though if you have 17 games left, it's quite difficult to gain. So I'd say Brighton or Burnley are probably one of them two are going to go down. Uh, but theoretically, probably Southampton, Sheffield United and West Brom aren't completely safe there. So... I think we're going to end it there for today's episode, guys. So, um, obviously, leave any suggestions down in the comment section below. Hit the sm smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, tell your friends about the channel, and have a good day. So, until next time, guys, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time when we have games against Forest Green Rovers, Manchester United, and Brighton. So, see you then.